of uh, Copenhagen bicycle lane uh, with a sort of parking for, for bikes. It's a shipyard uh, construction, so it's a single beam, uh, no columns. Um, and essentially you sort of arrive at the, at the pavilion, you sort of move through the exhibition, uh, then you sort of appear on the roof, you, you find yourself a nice bike, and then you continue on your bike back through the exhibition and, uh, and, and through Shanghai. So, um, yes, basically we, uh, we won the competition and, uh, and sort of to our surprise we've really gotten like positive response even with the, uh, with the movement of the mermaid, only the sort of the nationalist right-wing party, <laughs> the, the Danish People's Party, are against, but I would almost feel guilty if I wasn't in, uh, in conflict with, uh, with that party. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, um, so, so that was like one approach to sustainability, this idea that uh, actually having a sustainable city can really improve the quality of life in the city. Um, and another sort of a look we had at the, at the idea of sustainability was uh, um, some years ago when we did a project um, where we invented the term economy, um, which is this idea that there was this debate between, um, um, you know, the ecologists and, uh, and, and um, and, and the government that, that made you think that almost ecology and economy was like philanthropists against capitalists or like the good against the evil. But somehow uh, ideas of sustainability that are so expensive that they can't run in a normal business, uh, they won't survive. And ideas of, uh, of, uh, of business models that are based on the sort of depletion of natural resources, um, uh, they won't sort of survive in the long term. So you need to, you need to think sort of economically um, and then sort of the main uh, uh, purpose of the project was to try to design all of Denmark to have an energy bill of, uh, of zero. So um, this is the energy bill of Denmark. Um, so we started looking how can you provide all this energy, like 23,000 windmills all along the coasts would be good for the energy but bad for the tourism. <laughs> um, you could put them in an offshore park which is pretty much what's, what's going on. Um, if you wanted to reduce solar cells, you would have to cover the southern islands completely with solar panels. Um, if you wanted to burn biomass, you would have to grow everything that is not street or, or built. Um, and finally, if you want biogas, you would need a cow stable the size of the greater metropolitan area of Copenhagen uh, to have enough uh, dung to, uh, to supply the, the energy. So if there was a, a lesson from this, it was that it's, it's definitely possible, but it's probably just bad only to use one idea. Um, also, we found out that in, uh, in the built environment, only 10% goes to electrical appliances, 90% is either cooling or heating the temperature, something you can really design buildings for. And this funny fact, every day produces two and a half tons of garbage and half a ton of manure uh, every year. And the combined biogas and combustion value of these two figures is enough to pay this person's share in the total energy bill. So like in theory, we could become our own energy source. Um, and we started looking at, you know, different programs have different consumption patterns. You know, a supermarket spends incredible amounts of electricity on refrigerators. And a refrigerator is essentially a heat pump where you use electricity to move the heat from the refrigerator and, and sort of out in the air, and then the refrigerator gets cold. <coughs> but for a swimming pool spends incredible amounts of heat on heating the water. So we calculated that if you would combine a, a, a big discount supermarket with a 50 meter public swimming pool, the two could actually supply each other with uh, cooling and, and heating. So this idea of sort of symbiosis came up that maybe if we would take all the different programs of daily society and put them into this double ecosystem, uh, of like economy and ecology, we could sort of uh, create a, a, a completely sustainable uh, society. And the main idea was this idea of creating like a hedonistic uh, uh, manifesto for sustainability. So it's not this sort of moral uh, thing where you like you have to like live less fun. Uh, there was like one sort of uh, stay close to home, uh, like traveling around would be more fun, um, and basically enjoy what you have. Enjoy more would be even better. So 